How you guys doing, y'all? It's QuestX. Um, this is... You guys check the title of the video so you know what I'm going about to speak on. Um, well, John, brother... Uh, you're a dope fiend, John. Uh, you have... You are an addict. You're no different than Johnny Menzel. You're no different than you know, a myriad of other athletes who have addiction problems. You have an addictive personality and this is just reflective of that illness that you suffer from. Brother, you need this tough love, man. You need this. I'm telling you right now, I don't want to see you in the octagon for at least two years. At least, the very least, two years. It, it, it's, it's a sad situation. But the fact that they don't want to tell us what you tested positive for gives me the inclination, John, that you were trying to mask using that white powdered substance that got you in trouble in the first place. You were trying to mask the demons that are still haunting you. John Jones, John's Bones Jones, I don't want to see you in the octagon for at least two years. Listen, I, I've had family members who suffered from addiction. And I'm going to tell you firsthand, watching it myself, John Jones exhibits all of the qualities of somebody who suffers from addiction. I, I don't even know what else to say other than, John, you did this to yourself, homie. And here's why I don't want you to be in the ring for at least two years. Let me explain myself, John. I feel that tonight, if anybody knows John Jones, tonight this man should be going to a facility and he should be in an out, in an inpatient facility where he has zero contact with the media. This is something that needs to be said. John Bones Jones needs to go away and be in a program at the very least half a year, if not more. This is why John Jones needs to, I don't want to see John Jones in the octagon for at least two years. If at all, I think the best thing for John Jones to do is to walk away. Because John Jones, and we don't know what goes on in John Jones' personal life. There is a correlation to his success and his addiction problems, his addiction issues. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Floyd Mayweather was trying, was having talks with you, right, brother? Now, usually with Floyd Mayweather, like he was having talks with Mikey Garcia, he usually acts on situations right away and signs fighters that he feels are going to, to, to make a brand for himself. But Floyd didn't do that with you, John. And I have a sneaky suspicion is, is that Floyd knew... I can't confirm this. I'm just making an assumption. I have a sneaky sus uh, suspicion that Floyd knew you were still using, brother. You've literally thrown away a lot of opportunities that others have worked hard for and that want to be in your position. For your life, John, stay away. Get help. Get rid of everybody around you. Shout out to 78 Sports TV. He brought this up in, a, in, a, in an in-depth video talking about this. And I'm going to tell you, I know this for a fact. John Jones don't need to be around the limelight. The limelight is also what's killing him. Much like Josh Gordon. Much like Johnny Manziel. Much like the other athletes, sometimes these people's demons are fed by the limelight. 
it compounds it. So this is my sincerest heartfelt wishes for you, John. Get the help you need. I'd rather see you alive. I, I said this shit about James Kirkland. The rumors about James Kirkland and his demons he's battling. Or that he has had issues with. Sometimes being famous is not, it's not worth your life, John. That's all I got. LDBC.